let us write a computer code or uh, what will be the logic uh, of a computer code to calculate um, the Leonard Jones potential for a system of n particle system. So, what I am uh, basically trying to do now uh, uh, writing a computer code computer code to calculate Leonard Jones potential of a n particle system. Let us try writing out a computer code uh, and I am writing this is uh, in Fortran 77. You can, um, uh, so basically I will be presenting you the logic um, and then you can write in your own language of C, C++, um, Proton 90 and so on. Uh, so, this is a computer code what I will be writing in Proton 77. So, we have n particle systems and we want to find out uh, the Leonard Jones potential. So, if you recall the Leonard Jones potential, it was um, Okay, so my Leonard Jones potential was ULJ is equal to uh, sum over I sum over J for epsilon sigma by R IJ to the power 12 minus sigma by r to the power 6. So, this is the um, this is the formula what you will be executing. So, as I said that uh, for the pair potential to avoid uh, the same interaction twice, we put an inequality where uh, my i goes from 1 to n minus 1 and my j goes from i plus 1 to n. If you put this, if you maintain this limit, then you are not over counting the same interaction. You are not counting the same interaction twice. You are not counting 2, 1 since you already have counted 1, 2 interactions. Okay, so to do this, um, first we have to know the value of epsilon and sigma. So, epsilon and sigma, they are the constant values. So, they do not change. Oh, so, what is uh, the variable here we have is basically the rij. And what is rij? rij is nothing but your ri minus rj. So, it is the interparticle distance, the distance between particle i and j, and that is the only variable. So, that you have to calculate uh, inside the loops, and epsilon and sigma are the constant values which you can read directly. So, we will start by reading epsilon and sigma. So, read, I can read this on the screen itself and I read sigma and epsilon. And after I read that, I am calculating sigma square. So, sigma square I am calculating by multiplying sigma with sigma. So, this is my sigma square. Now, I initialize my potential by setting it to 0. So, I am now initiating the calculations. So, my u to start with is 0. 
now I start my do loop do i is equal to 1 2 n minus 1. and my rxi is equal to rx i my r y i. So, basically I am reading the x y and z coordinates of each particle. So, this is the x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate of the ith particle. So, I am reading uh, 1 to n minus 1 particles x, y and z coordinates. Now, since I have to calculate the pair interactions, interaction of i with j inside this do loop I have another do loop which is j ok. So, I have to give uh, some number uh, let us say uh, I am sorry. So, yeah. So, in the uh, here I need to put a number. So, say do so this is uh, Fortran do j do 10 i is equal to 1 to n minus 1. So, this is my uh, do loop uh, with you know 10 is basically the uh, number which I started here and I need to close it later. So, I, I start another loop do 11 j. So, j goes from i plus 1 to n. So, now inside this I now calculate r x i j. So, which is basically the um, distance between the x component of i th and j th particle. So, I already have r x i from here. So, I write r x i minus r x j. So, this is my uh, x component separation between i and j particle. Similarly, r y i j I can write as r y i minus r y j r z i j is equal to r z i which I already have minus r z z particle. So, here basically I am looking at the separation of x coordinates of i and j, separation of the y component of i and j and the z coordinates of i and j. Then what I have to calculate is the r i j square. Because the distance between two particles is square root of x i minus x j square plus y i minus y j square plus z i minus z j square. Um, so, r i j square uh, since I already have r x i j and r. So, I have r x i j, r y i j, r z i j. So, r x i j multiplied by r x i j plus r y i j plus so this is my 
r i j square and what I need is 12 and 6. So, from here I can define SR is uh, 2. So, SR is just basically the short range. So, sigma square uh, because uh, sigma square divided by Rij square. Likewise, I can define SR6, which is SR2 multiplied by SR2 multiplied by SR2. And SR12 is nothing but SR6 multiplied by SR6. So, my SR12 is nothing but sigma uh, divided by r to the power 12 and sr6 is nothing but sigma by r to the power 6. So, now I need to sum them up. So, my u is instantaneous value of u plus sr12 minus sr6. And now I need to close my two loops. So the jth loop is an inner loop. So I need to close that first and then I close the outer ith loop after I close the jth loop. And once the loop, both loop uh, are closed. I get the total u which should be multiplied by which should be multiplied by 4 epsilon epsilon I have re uh, read and this 4 epsilon the constant term I have to multiply with the u the final u I get after the loops are closed. So, this will be my the final potential Leonard Jones potential which I can write on the screen as V and then I can uh, then I have to basically say stop and end. So, from here I have two more steps stop and then end. That will be my uh, 1477 code to calculate the Leonard Jones potential um, of a n particle system.